Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm Tortle and this is the third take I've done of this voiceover because every time I try to, every, uh, like, I, I just keep messing up. Alright, so if I mess up again, this video just never gets uploaded because I'm, I'm starting to lose it a little bit. Anyway, um, I'm back from my forced hiatus. Um, sh quick, short little life update. My house almost got struck by lightning and it fried my computer. Uh, so that's why I disappeared off the face of the earth for a couple, uh, days, like, two weeks there. Three weeks now, because I took a extended hiatus, even though I, because I just felt like I needed to. Anyway, uh, th this is, um, a shell that I created. Uh, if you don't know what a shell is, or a shell challenge, rather. A shell challenge is where, uh, the builder uploads a, a the shell of a house and if you use it you can't change any of the existing walls um for a puzzle shell um it's basically all of the rooms are already decided for you um and you have to uh turn it into a somewhat normal looking house um Anyway, uh, that's what this is. I decided to create, <laughs> create my own, um, a puzzle shell because I wanted to, and because I've been having a lot of fun with them, and I think other people would have a lot of fun with them. Um, for the vibe of the house I created with the puzzle pieces that I have, um, I decided to go with a more modern vibe. Um, you don't have to go with a modern vibe if you don't want to. If you can figure out how to do a different vibe, go ahead. Because, like, I have no idea what's going to happen here. Um, I ha Like, I'm, I'm just curious. I just, I'm really excited to see what other people are going to do with this build. Because my, I showed it to my boyfriend before I uh, recorded the video. And he said he saw, like, five different uh, ways to do it. Which is crazy because I only saw one way to do it. <laughs> But maybe I'm just not creative enough. It's fine. Um, moving on. Uh, finished putting, like, the puzzle pieces where they went. Uh, that little, like, thing I put above the terrace with all the fence pieces does not stay there. I end up um, changing it for something else. I can't exactly remember what it is. I think it's something that came from the Desert Lux kit. Um... But that is something I do quite often. I put the, like, I do a makeshift little covering for, like, balconies and stuff. It's fun. But it just didn't fit for this house. Um, uh, like I said, it's very modern. Um, and honestly, I kind of hated myself doing this build because some of the rooms, I was like, what do I do here? Why did I put that there? Um, like, I, there's, like, no doubt in my mind that that triangle room is gonna cost me some, some subscribers, but it's fine. Um, you don't have to do the build, but if you do, um, if you do the build, um, and you want me to see it, you have to upload it to the gallery using the hashtag um, that's going to be in the description below. Here I am just randomly changing to a different lot. It's Don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, so after... Um, I'm going to say the quote-unquote due date for this build is going to be like uh, September 20th there. So on September 20th, the challenge ends, but you guys will still have access to, like, do it if you decide to do it after that. Um, but on the 20th, I'm going to make a video of me going through and looking at all of your builds. Um, I don't expect to have, like, a bunch of builds to look at. Like, at best, uh, I might have, like, three. <laughs> but that's fine because I want to see what other people do with it because I think it's fun. I think I just I want to see what people do with that triangle room to be honest. I want to see how how they fix how they fix that cuz it like it was it was easy for me because I already knew what I wanted to do with this house for the most part. Um so the triangle room was not difficult for me at all. 
Um, but for other people, it probably would be. And I honestly, I understand. I understand why it would be because who wants a triangle room? No one, except for me, apparently, and the Sim that lives here. Um, and of course, if you want to download this build instead of just the, um, shell, um, you can. I'm going to have it under the hashtag that the shell challenge is under, um, but I'll probably rename it um, because reasons. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yes, this build will be up for download after this video goes up. Um, so if you want to download it and have your sim live in it, that is fine. You can. You will be able to. Um, and so will the, like, shell challenge will also be up and then you guys can do that. And yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, the stairs for this build, obviously you don't have to do a two-story house if you don't want to. I did a two-story house because, um, I thought it would be easier for me and it was. Um, but the, uh, like, the room where the stairs are, um, kind of screwed me up. Because I wasn't entirely sure what, um, I wanted to put in there. At first I wanted to put the kitchen in there, but of course there was only room for, like, one row of cabinets. And if, and, and your sims probably wouldn't be able to fit in there. Which, uh, would ruin the purpose of the house. Because the house has to be functional, you know? Um... But I, uh, uh, there, that ends up just being like a little hallway for uh, your sims to like walk through to get up to the stairs. It's got like a little uh, mirror and an accent table. Is it called an accent table? I don't think it is. I think it's called something else. Anyway, um, here I am just planning. I'm just like at this point, I was just planning out what rooms are going to be where. Um, like this big room right here is the kitchen. Uh, there's a hallway in between the kitchen and then the room at the end with an angle, not the triangle, uh, the other one, uh, is going to be a little uh, living room. And then the 4x4, four four, or the 2x2, two two, not the 4x4, four four, the 2x2 two two room um, or is a bathroom, but the, okay, so this house has two bathrooms. Um, the one upstairs is a full bath. But the one downstairs is just a half bath, so it's just got, like, a toilet and a sink, which I thought was fine. Um, uh, what was I doing? What was I trying to say? Also, oh, there, ugh, uh, I'm losing my thoughts and I'm finding them, like, at the same time. It's, I'm, I'm kind of losing my mind here. Anyway, the f two by two room upstairs, uh, like off the uh, bedroom is a little like walk in closet. I didn't do too much with it because I don't really decorate closets all that much, but it's a closet. I think it's got like I used the dream home decorator uh, shelves that have like the little hanging bit that you can put the uh, clothes on. Um, so it's like a functional closet. Your sim can go in there and go into like change sim mode or whatever. <sighs> uh, this is the little hallway I'm doing. And this was also the cause of me having to restart this voiceover for the third time because I realized I hadn't deleted a certain part of the video here and it kind of screwed me up. But it's fine, because uh, the build came out fine, uh, the voiceover is going to come out fine. If it doesn't, uh, you're not going to see this build, and I'm going to be very upset. Anyway, um, this is where I decided to go with like the eclectic vibes for this house, because this mirror from um, Decor to the Max Kit, I can never, I almost can never use it, but every whenever I can use it is a good, good day, because... This mirror is just amazing, and I love it. <laughs> like, just look at it. It looks so cool and funky, and it's beautiful. Uh, I think I just add, like, the, one of the base game paintings um, that they added in, like, an update here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. I really like this one because it, it just kind of fits there um like thinking about it now I probably could have added like a little chair or something right there but eh, the build's already over it's fine anyway 
Uh, here's the kitchen. Here's where I just ended up putting the kitchen. I use these jungle adventure counters because I hardly ever use them. And they're really nice counters. Um, I also, um, I, don't, I think I might have also used the jungle adventures appliances. Yes, I did. Um, I don't... I don't remember did I stick with the white swatch for the fridge I think I did and I went with a black swatch for the uh stove I don't know why I went with a black and white vibe here I think it was just easier for me to do that than to try and go with something different um so yeah this is what the um I used jungle adventure cabinets in here too they kind of add like a different like vibe and I think for accent colors, I went with a blue in here because of a certain, like, um, curtain that I picked. And then I think the couch in the living room is also blue. Which is really nice. Um, I also, I used the decor to the max couch. Uh, cause, I, like I said, this is, like, an eclectic home. Uh, you can tell by the giant triangle room on the end. And I don't think I stuck with these. Here's the curtains. Here are the curtains. These curtains are from um, uh, the Desert Lux kit. And I thought they were perfect for this space. Uh, here we go. Here we go changing the uh, thing for up here. This is where I change this thing and make it a... Uh, make it uh for like it it's it's i changed it it's different now <laughs> um i probably could have used like the tool mod to like make it look more um like even here but i honestly i just think it looks fine so um but it adds like a little different color to the thing oh no I did change it to a black swatch to match the house more but yeah I really like this little like awning that's the word I'm looking for awning and then I add it this is where I add the little staircase up to the um up to the uh balcony anyway back to the kitchen um uh, I think I'm just getting like a little um tile here I don't know if I actually get a tile do I get a tile or do I just not find one that fits the color oh I go for this hair I think it's called a herringbone tile um it's from uh growing together and it's a really nice tile and this this I went with this um decor to the max uh tile for the house and it's really nice I know um it's a little tacky because it's kind of like checkerboard colors but I really like it I think it looks really good um here I am adding something to this corner I tried to add like a vase or something but the vases I was finding that I liked were a little too big um what am I doing what am I doing what am I adding I, I I cannot remember what I add to this uh, thing. Oh, I add so I got these things. Oh, and I get this the little like thing from Horse Ranch, and I put it on the back of the stove. I don't know if that makes the stove uh, um not functional. I think I've heard some people say that it does make it not functional, but it just looks good, you know. Oh, and this lovely vase from Horse Ranch is just was just too perfect for that um table and it's like the right swatch of blue and I you I don't think I use that rug for the living room I think I switch it to the hallway because I couldn't find a good good rug for um the hallway that I liked so I end up going with that one yeah so this rug goes in the hallway I think it looks really good it's the correct shade of blue it's really cute and then I just add regular uh, hallway decorations. Just like the little mail thing and the little thing where they hang their uh, 
keys. Here's this, uh, here's the decor to the max couch that I used. I really love this blue. And I also use this decor to the max, uh, chair upstairs in this little hallway. I just really love the decor to the max kit, but you can't really use it in every build because it's, 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 it doesn't fit every build, you know? Um, here I am just changing the layout a little bit to get, um, a TV on this wall. Um, do I use the decor to the max table? I think I might. No, I think I use the one from the fitness stuff pack. I considered using this one from the paranormal stuff pack, but I actually moved that one upstairs um, and put it like in the bedroom. Yeah, this is the uh, coffee table I used because I think it looks really cool. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I'm adding this little plant from Eco Lifestyle. Um, can you tell I haven't had to do a voiceover in a while? Um, just trying to talk my way through stuff. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, do what? What? Oh, this rug. I put this rug upstairs uh, where the bed is because I really liked it. Because I really like this uh, rug from high school years. It's really cute. And it kind of fit the vibes we were going for, you know? Did, uh, desperately trying to remember what all I add to this uh, build. Um, we should be, okay, we're a couple minutes away from finishing the build. What chair do I add? Which chair do I use? I don't know. I considered the one from high school years. Um, I think it's this one that I use. No, it's not. Never mind. No, don't listen to me. I'm... I might have built built this house, but I did not furnish it, obviously. Oh, I think I remember which one I use now. It's not this one. Because I think that one's shaped weird. It's... It's... What is it? It's this one from Bowling Alley Stuff. Yay, we figured it out. Um, But I felt like that chair just kind of fit the vibes we were going for do I use I did not use the hanging plant in this build I don't think I used it at all which is crazy because I always use that plant it's like my favorite plant huh you learn some oh this this item from decor to the max was just too perfect for I, obviously I used a lot of decor to the max but that peacock was just too perfect for that corner um, I also considered using the lamp from Decor to the Max, but I don't didn't think it fit the uh, vibe of the house, so I ended up going with a lamp from high school years. No, not high school years. Which one do we use? Come on. Oh, this one from Paranormal Stuff. Um, I felt like it kind of fit. It's a, like, a little spooky, a little um, like eclectic, I guess. And then I just add a painting, and I don't think I end up actually adding a rug in that room. And then I, I do this in quite a few builds where I'll just, like, put these little Audubons down. So your sim can uh, sit while they, like, take their shoes off or whatever. Even though you can't do that in this game, but you can pretend it's fine. Uh, do I add shoes? Oh, I added, like, the base game, like, boots decor to this one. Yeah. I think that's what I do here. Yes, here it is. Alright. Um, I'm gonna end the voice over here because I can feel my nose getting more congested as I talk. But if you enjoyed this video, please like, you know, subscribe do all that. Uh, if you want to try out the uh, shell yourself, I will have the hashtag in the description below so that way you can use that to upload your build to the gallery so I can watch it. Um, yeah, 
Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to join, also if you want to join my Discord, you can also you can also join that through um, the link in the pinned comment. And yeah, you guys know the drill. Um, anyway, I'm really glad to be back, and I can't wait to start recording regularly again. And I will see. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.